It's another film breakdown here on the O-Line Committee where we pull back the curtain and watch film with NFL offensive lineman Jeremiah Cyril's Alex Boone, 16 combined seasons in the National Football League. Uh, gentlemen, before I pop this up on the screen here, the Houston Texans, we did a podcast like a week and a half ago before the Diggs trade, raving about they might be AFC championship game sleepers. They might jump into the top five offensively, all these things. Now that they have Stefan Diggs, what do you think about the Houston Texans offense going into 2024? You know, it's not just Stefan Diggs. It's Joe Mixon, right? That's That, for me, is I the bigger. Mix. As much as Diggs is going to be great, I think Joe Mixon is going to be more of the cog in the machine that can really help this offense take it to the next level. I also hope that Tank Dell can come back fully healthy. Man, he was fun to watch. Like, yeah, he dude was. was electric to watch. And to yes. see him get hurt the way he did down there on that goal line, you know, that's just that's just tough to see. But, you know, I think it vaults them into top five, top three offensive efficiency next year. Wow. Right? With the ability to run the football with Joe Mixon. Nothing against Motor. I love Motor. I love Singletary. Great guy. Played with him in yep. Buffalo. But Mixon's just a different breed of the pound the rock, old school, downhill brings a veteran presence in there next to next to um not Mahomes next to Stroud CJ. too right like I love I love the way this offense looks I love the way that they're going to build things around it and I think that they may have one of the most balanced attacks if they want to next year right I think they'll be able to pick their poison every week of do we want to pound the rock this week or do we want to let CJ air this thing out right and that's a very nice luxury to have that not many teams in the NFL do have um uh was that a Freudian slip? Mahomes. Did you say Mahomes. He's maybe the next Mahomes. Stroud. He's just. I, it, listen. It's just. He's always. I agree with you. He and not only that, dreams. but I think that this team has now gained some serious confidence. And I love. I love Diggsy. Everyone knows I love him. I love his competition or his competitiveness. I love how way he plays. But the Joe Mixon for me is where it's at. And Jay, you know, CV was over here the other day. And we were watching film, breaking it down, and just the way that he runs the ball with a fucking attitude and he's kind of like hey i'm not afraid to hit the living shit out of you and at the same time what is that going to cause the defense to do how many guys are gonna have to be in the box how are you going to load it up are you going to step up when they dangle that ball out there and then oh by the way here's dalton schultz down the middle you got Diggsy on the outside nico collins like there's going to be playmakers everywhere and at the same time this makes this more of a balanced offense takes a lot more right. off cj puts it on a lot of other people which is going to be fun to watch Nick Casario also put it out there, and, and the message to his team coming into OTAs is we're winning right now, right? Like that's another piece of this. Like when when you're on, if you're on the Texans, you're like man, and then you're watching this happen. Like your GM, your front office sold the farm to get Stroud and Will Anderson last year in the draft, and now they go make a major move like this to bring Diggs in. You're setting the precedent when that team walks into the locker room. Like, listen, boys, it's our Super Bowl window. Right. Like we thought maybe it was a few years away. Like, we thought maybe we were going to build to it. Like, no, it is right now. We gave up a second-round pick. We're paying Stephon Diggs. Like, we're going right now. And that's just a mindset thing that uh, D'Amico Ryans and Nick Casario have built down there in Houston for this team as they walked through there. So make no mistake, they're in their Super Bowl window right now. Yes, it's going to be fun to watch. So I grabbed a bunch of different things here. And, and we've done, I think, two other Texans offensive film breakdowns. Yep that you can go find on the online committee YouTube channel. And if you're new here, by the way, click the like button, click the subscribe button and uh, help us get to 20,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel as we approach one year of these shenanigans here. So I'm going to make this full screen. I will take you through. I'm just the fan who brings film to uh, two former NFL offensive linemen. So speaking of tank Dell, I think the first one I grabbed here, if I remember correctly, is just tank Dell being tank Dell before mm. the injury. So we'll play this. And then the next sequence after this is going to be how the Texans use the run game to set up home runs in the passing game. And you can talk us to that too, but uh, this is early in the season against the Colts gentlemen. Just a little out. Mm. Oh, wait, it's a touchdown. Oop. That's all based off ball placement, right? Like this is a great receiver doing it. I mean, he feels it, but like, you know, he sees this, if he throws this, he brings him outside and then it makes the DB have to run thinking he's going to go to the sideline. Right, if he puts this ball right back inside or anything, the DB's gonna be able to make a break on it. But again, watch him go through. Go to the back end here once we're done here. First of all, the ball's great, right? I mean, yeah, it is great. what it is. But I, the thing about young QBs and Boone and I wa talked about this as we watched him all season, his ability to get through his progression. Yep. Right. 
left, right, bang. Right? Like immediately he knows where he's going with the football and he gets there so quickly. And for a young rookie QB, that's so hard to do. Decisive. It's yep. so hard to, to be decisive and to know where to go with the ball immediately. And that was like you said, early in the year. Yep. Right. Like th- we saw this early on, and that's when you're like, oh, this dude, this dude's got some serious pieces to him. Nice some chip there, by the way. By, uh, oh, I was just gonna say Singletary. Singletary chipping on the way out. And that's one of the things that when you look at this, that their offensive line. They have a good O line, dude. They have Very one of the good. top left tackles. They have some great guards. Like you don't have to worry about these guys, and that's why this Diggsy and this Joe Mixon addition are just so much scarier now. Oh. I mean, dude, look at this. And Jay, you and I have talked about this. There are no more second windows. You only get one shot to throw that ball, and if you are not decisive and your balls don't drop, this whole thing gets fucked up. But his ability to, like Jay said, I look left, I look right, ball gone, boom, throw a dart, get rid of it. Let the playmakers make plays, dude. And that's what's so scary is they they played the season so well, and if they can pick up where they left off, the sky is the limit for this team. This next sequence, I'm going to show you guys. So it's it's a four-play sequence, three run plays into a home run. I'm going to show you from the, the sideline view here first, but you can talk us through this. This is, I don't know, this, is, this looked like a great way to set up a 50 plus yard touchdown pass or close to he winds up getting tackled on the goal line you'll see it but pound the rock okay it's against the jaguars in like week two or week three couple yards little two three yard gains we'll pound it again to the left side here it's right right over the the defense so this was the first play that you showed us yep Notice that everything's out of a dot under, deuce formation. Under center, too. I love that they have a fullback. Fuck you. Yeah. So, again, these aren't like 20 yard gains here. These are just little two, three, just jabs. And then all of a sudden, bang. You get it. All right. You want to see something? Yes. Go back please. to the first part. Go back to the first play. Here we go. You want the wide or the uh... tight? Tight. This is exciting. You should watch him do his work. It's great. I'm going to sit back have a cigarette. All right. Where's number two? Right? Number two, the safety over here on the right side. Mm-hmm. So first play, he's down here. Right? See him down here? He's kind of milling around like what's going on, but he's not committed. He's not fully committed to the box yet. Right? Backs back out. Like, okay, I've got to make sure everything's kosher here. Okay, run. Now I fire. All right. Go to the next one. Okay. We'll keep it rolling here. All right. So just watch this. This is the mind game with the safeties, right? Where's number two? Not even in the picture, right? Yeah. He's back. He's off the. He's off the ball, right? He's they. They've tried to change it up. They say, hey, we're gonna bring some other alignment in the safeties. We're not gonna bring a safety down to the box yet. Okay, cool. We'll let it roll. I mean, this is like a four-four. Look right, at this. Like, this is like okay. a monster back still, defense. Still, there's, there's two. Number two. There's he number two. Running in, in late. Right? Filling Run in. in late. He's filling right. in there. So now he's like, shit, man. I'm I'm late to the party every time. Yeah, so right. he's like he's like over here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm freaking late to the party every single time. This isn't great. I'm the safety. I got to make things right. All right, go to the next play. Okay, I love here this. he comes. He's diving in. Okay. No number two. No number two again. I think he's way back he's here. Way back there. Right? There he is. There he is. There he and is. They, see, here he comes. He's got to be wait. the one to fill that hole. So he's like, all right, I got to get my ass up in here. Right? Come on. Gosh, late to the party again. Right, like five yard game. So here's where he's finally like, I've had enough. <laughs> I'm goes. in here, right? I'm down here. I'm rotating in. I'm not letting this happen again. They're I'm, both I'm, down, dude. They're both down, right? Number both safety. Look like, at this, that. This is it. I'm toast. I'm. I'm not doing it. Flat footed. Where? Flat footed. Directly in the backfield. Flat footed. Directly in the backfield. Right. Boom. Oh shit. There you go. I have deep middle. Right, I have the deep middle, and where <laughs> does this ball go? Right behind number two. Uh, he makes the tackle. Credit he to, makes credit the tackle. Make the credit tackle. to him. It's on the stat sheet. <laughs> the problem is, it's tackle. late. It's very on late. On the tackle. one yard line, but that's the mind game that you play with these dudes. Yeah, like, let's that's watch the wide here too. That's the mind game where you're like, he's down there, and he's like, dude, they've been running it down our teeth. Right, come on, boys, we got this. Clap it up. Have. And that's what we that's what we open this film breakdown with. When you have the balanced attack, it, it puts so much pressure on the safeties. Right. right. It put like right there. Okay. Cracked. Oh gosh, here we go again. Okay. Run away. 
There's number five. Fill it in quickly. Right? Like the safeties, when you're getting to the second level in the run game and the safeties are being factors in making plays, they panic because they know they're the last line of defense. Right? If they get beat, they know it's strike up the band, ESPN, da 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 But then they just get antsy and they keep inching and they keep mm. inching and they keep inching. And then all of a sudden, all it takes is one yard of separation for the big play. That's it. Yeah. And the perfect ball placement. <clears throat> That was beautiful. That was a great breakdown right there. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, that was now, okay, we're moving need, through the season here. A Got little Steelers game. Look at the play. Again, the placement on these passes. There's Nico Collins, a little 1,200-yard season. No big deal. By the way, kind of liking the Red Unis. Not going to lie to you. Another great pocket. Mm. Here, let's go back and. I love it. Talk oh, dirty to me, Mackie. Here we go. A little over front. Over switch. A little lucky. Make it look easy. Again, getting through his progressions, right? Getting through his reads, no panic, always keeping his eyes downfield. But a lot of this is because he's not pressured. Like, he's got yeah. so much time, right? He's comfortable in that pocket. Makes you wonder what's going to happen next year. As defensive coordinators look at this, they're going to have to start figuring out ways to get to him. Because look, at I mean, that is a perfect ball. And like you said, under no pressure. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's keep going here because there's a. And we've got. I think we did the five touchdown performance a few we months did. back on the YouTube channel. But there's a couple throws from here that we should bring back, and oh, then the just playoffs people. here. But yeah, Booney brings up a great point. I mean, defensive coordinators in this league are not stupid. They're really, really, really intelligent, and they're gonna have to try and figure out what is gonna be the wrinkle to slow him down. Is it blitzing? Is it? But I mean, he showed so many, so much poise Dude. and so much knowledge for a young player <laughs> last it. year, right? Pause, Pause it real here. quick. This play is almost so easy because you're literally telling the quarterback, hey, if you look up and you see eight guys in the box, just throw this slant out here. Just make it easy on everybody, okay? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Quick little dangle of the ball. Six, seven, eight right here. Huh? Mm -hmm. By the way, you have 14 tight ends on the right side of the <laughs> right? image here. 13, We're, maybe. Yeah. We are personnel. literally 13 personnel. They're going to load this box. I just want you to dangle this real quick. Oh, and hit Diggsy to the left real fast. This guy like, this guy takes the bait. Well, it's right? an, that, so he's the unblocked player in this scheme, right? You can't, unless you re-ID this, unless you re-ID this entire really scheme. Hard. So this is, this, is a, this is a duo scheme, right? Like, so the duo scheme is meant to go after the Sam and the Mike. And if they walk this safety down, you either have to re-ID it or throw it. That's why he's throwing it. And that's why he's throwing it. there's eight in the box. <laughs> Right, Dang. safety down. We can't get to him. We would never four call a duo. We could push it back if we wanted to, but at the same time, why not just throw just this throw fucking it. ball? Right? But he's, but he's not. Hey. Has, I mean, for a guy, he's halfway but he through knows. his rookie season. He's not hesitating at all because he knows that cornerback's not going to let him go outside. So he's like, "Listen, I got all this space in here." And at the same time, twenty three is stepping up to make this play. This is we're playing checkers while you're playing chess. Like we're making this easy, and you're making this harder on yourself. But it's. It's the ability to have this offensive structure and do these things, and then you add on these two weapons to it, and it's like, okay, I see now where we're going with this. This is going to be fun. A little this stutter was, pass. We talked about we this. Broke this was down a this two-man route. Yeah, yep. this is a two-man route. Like this is that. That was the absurd thing about this because we watched this play. I, oh gosh, I for, I remember this like it was yesterday. Yeah, I did. We're like going week eight or something. Yeah, this is like yep. week where they were like, yeah, you know, we need to protect Stroud. Right? We need to make sure he stays comfortable, stays clean back there. So we're just going to do a two-man route concept because they're having five guys on the line of scrimmage, and somehow they still get open. So I you just, literally you literally like have – yeah, It is two literally guys. a two-man route. It's a two-man route. Who do we – we circled someone. Some it, idiot turns their back, if I recall. Somebody – yeah, right I think right it was 23. Here. Yeah, yep. 23, 23 turns around. He's the, the second, one that gets – The second he turns cooked. around, it's, it's, ball, it's ball game. It's over. Hey, yep. same guy in the last one, right? The minute he comes up, throw that ball. Who are we picking on? The safeties. Oh, such a good Look route. Look at this. Look That's at this. Such a good route. Get on his toes, make him pick, and then break in. Nice Not a soul there. around him. Not a yep. soul. We'll give you the back end here, too. Mm -mm -mm. So you can see this. Dude, this protection. Again, Stroud, Stroud just being comfortable. Knowing How does he go, do it, though? Allowing, allowing time to get developed. Oh, that little fake right there. Play action. Hmm. Yeah, what'd you say there, Boone? The play action. It's it's the same thing. 
right? How can we can utilize all the these guys to there. block us and still affect the defense somehow? Like you would think that having a two man route, you're almost dead to rights, right? But the fact that he gets this little bit of a play action at the same time gets a ton of teams all the time to open up these huge windows. Levante David can't get back because he's stepping up one step. One step and you're done. It's over. We've beat you. Yeah, this was this was his first dominant performance. Look at that. This was this was his coming oh, out party. Oh my god. This was this was the I think after this game everyone was like, I think I think we got something, boys. Like I think we have a dude. Like that's gonna be a dude for a long time. What's he doing there? Is he he's holding pump fake? I think he's pump faking it to Schultz. Go to the wide. Right. So I think the I think what he's player. trying to do is like looks like he's gonna pump it to Schultz in the in the flat just to get that that corner to bite, and then go up over the top. Right. Right. So okay. Right here. Boom. Like I think he's trying to add pump it here, and then. Boom! Back over the top. The guy doesn't. The, the guy covering the receiver doesn't really bite, yeah. but the guy yeah, that's on Schultz and man. just drops it in the bucket. Tank Dell, again, dude. I'm telling you, this this three headed oh. monster of <laughs> Diggs, Dell, and Collins. Okay, I have be, a hot take. The problem is, hot I don't take. know if there's going to be enough love to spread around. Someone's there will. Gonna be, someone's don't gonna be say upset. that. Someone don't, will be upset. Don't say Do that. Diggs, he's not going to get upset in year. No. One. He doesn't get upset year one. No, it took him like four years with the Vikings and but he's two years playing with, the with a. You got to remember, he's playing for a contract, right? Like this dude didn't come to the Texans to not catch footballs. He wants to get paid again. That's Here's why my they avoided take. those years. I know Nico Collins had a 1,200 yard season. I think he's their third best wide receiver. Stefan Diggs, mm. Tank Dell going into what year two? Yeah, he was a rookie last Explosive. year. Explosive. I mean, coming wow. back from the injury is going to be. That's yeah. I mean, if you're putting if you're putting injury injury recovery over, I I think that Tank Dell's three with, coming off the injury to start oh. the year, to start the year. If he was healthy, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you, Max. If Tank Dell was healthy and had a full off season, but ACL oh, late God. in the season. By the way, not know. a knock on Nico Collins. I mean, hey, it's not at all. A, a, I mean, a, a listen, while you guys talk about these divas, I want to talk about this left guard <laughs> that just jumps <laughs> the living shit out of Vita Vea, quickly regrets it. Is that, Hi- is that Hi- Howard? Titus Howard? Yeah. Quickly regrets it, but bear hugs the living shit out of him. <laughs> like, now come back here. Dude, back. Dude just fight we were, the bear. I was just talking to somebody in the gym, and I was like, listen, you know, Jump sets are cool and should never be your primary set against someone unless it's Vita Vea. I was like, we do not want that. Like that to me right there, total win. Just jump his ass and don't let him get there. We call this a whole shot throw, right? Is that what the kids call it? A whole shot. A whole shot over the over the corner. Under that's the more on the go route on the cover too. This is just knowing your coverage and dropping Poof. it like oh, right in his God. face. I know that's so pretty. Mm, I'll give you another one here. It's unguardable. Let's get you one more. One more. Oh, the thing of beauty. Give it to me. Oh, I mean, God protection. Empty. Spread them out. Declare your intentions. Bang. Boink. It's he just makes it look like he's been in the league for ten years. He just, I mean, his his film study and his preparation must be fantastic, and I do mean that because this isn't just luck. Now, I think some people be like, "Oh my gosh, he's so talented." Like yeah, but he must also prepare incredibly well. He and knows hats off to that staff it, right? for getting him and putting him in the right position to succeed. Like knowing, hey, I got a rookie quarterback. Let's max protect him in here. Let's not always put him in a seven step drop. Right? Like change his drops, change his reads, change all that stuff and give him answers to the test, right? Hey, if they're gonna be in this formation and they drop the safety down, just throw the football. Right? Take it off his plate. Give him good I love what this Texans offense did to help him at the beginning of the year have confidence. And now it goes back to the fat guy touchdown. It's the best. Love it. Ever. Love it. <laughs> Never get in trouble for doing that either. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. So there it is, guys. I think if everyone stays healthy, you're, by the way, the running game last year was kind of sus. Three yeah. and a half yards of carry. That's why, that's why, got why I'm so excited Mixon. about Mixon. Dude, yeah. he's a he's a punishing back. He yeah. is a run it down the middle of your goddamn face. I don't care. I'm going to just... 
watching play after play after play the other day of him just running through people and you're like how much can a defense take before eventually they're just so afraid of him and then we just go over the top with Diggsy or Schultz or somebody like it's it's gonna be exciting D'Amico I'm so excited for you buddy it's a little running game to go along with this ridiculous passing attack it's gonna be fun Daniel Hunter is on that defense now so we could probably do a breakdown of that alone. The defense is going to be him fun, and Will Anderson. Fun oh, times in Houston. Fun yes. times <sighs> in Houston. It's Enjoy it. All right, that's the O-line committee here. If you enjoyed this film breakdown with Jeremiah Serials, Alex Boone, I'm Phil Mackey. Click the like button and the subscribe button on this YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys next time.